Ruben, congratulations. Was that the best that you've played in a not shirt? Uh, I think it's definitely up there, yeah. Uh, it was really enjoyable uh, for me to play. I don't know why. Um, they just kept giving me space, even though first half I think I did fairly well. The gaffe even complimented me in the in the changing room, which gave me a bit more confidence to go towards the second half. And then I just kept doing my thing and kept being patient. And then when the first goal came, well, my confidence was really high. And then of course the penalty. But I wasn't going to mention that. No, nah, but you know, I know you would though. But it's okay. <laughs> but of course the penalty happens, and then everyone just came to me, and they 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 were so positive, and they just gave me so much. Uh, positive feedback like oh keep going no worries you get this and blah 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 and then of course yeah I scored the second one and then yeah I'm, I'm really happy for the team yeah. How important is that actually just the reassurance of your teammates in a situation like that where you then don't get too down on yourself maybe? No it's 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 really important because you you, you like are talking in yourself like oh, you should obey that blah 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 uh, you uh, you let your team down and then when everyone comes you know you haven't let your team down and they are just right behind you so uh, it's it's a it's a really good thing for me yeah your, your manager Luke Williams was sort of saying that it's your determination though it's your it's your own strength of character as well to when you you miss the the penalty mm -hmm. to then feel like you've got to make an amends yeah I think I'm that kind of like player person that when you do something wrong you have to prove yourself and prove others that uh, you can do it right so I think that the kind of mentality that comes with me that uh, helped me uh, yeah, through it, yeah. It was a tough game tonight as well. Eastley have been in mm. really good form of late. They're hardly conceding goals and they kept clean sheet in seven of the last mm -hmm. nine games. They, they really came in at times in that first half, put it on you as well. How important was it to kind of just stay in the game and be patient, knowing that maybe they would tire? Uh, now, uh, we knew, uh, we, we of course see the clips uh, and we know how good they are. Uh, they don't concede much. They were in a good run of form. And they have big players, which uh, it's, it can be tough. And of course, we this season has just been different when we have the ball and we are on it. And of course, today it was electric, to be fair. So uh, the, the support was there. So we had everything we needed. And uh, yeah, I think that uh, all of, when all of it comes together, then you get the three points, yeah. I noticed there was a moment in the second half when you and Maka at the same time said to the cop that you needed more mm. noise and more encouragement. It was, from it was I think, after the 1-1. Mm. I'm not really sure, but yeah, sometimes that little, little bit of extra energy that just helps us get through it. Uh, Defence, I think they know how, how much they mean to us. So I think they, I hope they know how important that is to us. So... When they, when they get us through, uh, we, we get them through it as well. So, uh, yeah, it's nice to do that to each other. This is your third season at the football club. Can you speak to the kind of relationship and the love that you get from these supporters? <sighs> it's, it's, uh, it's, it's been special for me, really, because, of course, the first season, you, you don't have the fans. Uh, it's tough. Uh, so you don't really experience how it is to play in front of Meadow Lane. That's just because it's the lockdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, sorry. Uh, and then, of course, when... That, uh, Lockdown was done, and now the first year, of course, I got the players of this uh, fans play of the season, which gave me a huge amount of confidence and love to the fans and to the club. And it's just been growing and growing and growing. And yeah, I can't wait to grow it more. And I mean, with that in mind, because the last time we spoke after a game, you was winking at me when we was talking about the fact that Solid your contracts up. And you remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Moore's, yeah. It left an imprint on me too. So, what is the situation there with that kind of thing? Like, do you, do you want to keep this moving forwards? Uh, to be fair, all I can say is I'm really happy at the moment where I am. Uh, I love the fans and uh, yeah, I, I can't say too much really. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, well that's fine. No, um, but it's going to be special, isn't it? I mean, this is the end of the season. You keep on pushing at the mm -hmm. moment. That win tonight, it keeps it tight at the top of the National League. Mm -hmm. It's a heck of a season, isn't it? And, and how do you see it sort of going between now and the end of it? Uh, I don't know. It's just really, it's, it's. I can't lie. It's really enjoyable. Even though they are winning, uh, it's really enjoyable to, to keep having that, that mindset. Like we have to win. We have to win. And after half time, Connor was saying like, boys, don't worry about it. We get this win and blah blah blah. And we did. And now it's again. Well, they are still one point ahead with one game less. But it's still up to them to, of course, have to win. And we still have to go there. And if we keep on winning and keep on playing like this and we go there I'm, I'm so positive enough that we get the win there yeah your 50th and 51st goals as an outs player this mm. evening congratulations thank you thank you thank you nice time. thank you